we're heading straight into our service, so I'm going to welcome our sister Laurencia to bring us a word of encouragement. Afterwards, we go straight into a time of prayer. So let's welcome our sister Laurencia. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope we are all fine and we are all feeling blessed by God. Um, thank you to the leadership first of all for giving the youth the opportunity to share a word of exhortation. My name is Laurencia and I'm really happy to be here. Um, even though it's a pandemic, but we still bless God that he's faithful and that he's good. Amen. 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 So um, just bow down your heads for me to pray shortly. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your grace. Thank you so much that you are a God who never fails us. Thank you so much that today we can gather even virtually um, on the phone and on Facebook to listen to your word and to have fellowship, God. I just pray in the name of Jesus that you will share your word like a sword, that you will talk to us and that it will just come into our spirits and download into us that we can practice it, Heavenly Father. May my personality go back and may you come with your word. In the name of Jesus, I've prayed. Amen. 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 So the word that's going to be shared today is don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. So we all know that now we are in a very serious situation, very serious um, world pandemic, and everyone is facing different issues. Everyone is facing or is being um, attacked by this COVID um, virus differently. People are losing their family members. People are losing their jobs. People are losing hope. And this is the reason for that. So the reason is that if, if, if we as believers lose hope, we have actually lost everything that is needed to be a believer. Because the worst thing that can ever happen to a believer is for him to lose hope. Why? Because Hebrews tells us that um, faith is the substance of hope, of things that we have not seen. And so before you can even have faith, you need hope. So hope is the foundation for you to build your faith on. And so the worst thing that can ever happen to a believer is for him to be hopeless. And that's why I just um, encourage you to open your Bible to Psalm 42, verses 5 to 10. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise him again my salvation and my God. Amen. Amen. If we open the same chapter and we go to verse 11, so Psalm 42 verses 11, it says again, why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Amen. Amen. And when we go to the next chapter, chapter 43 verses 5 it says again why are you cast down O my soul and why are you in turmoil within me hope in God for I shall again praise him my salvation and my God amen, amen. you know you need to understand if something is repeated in the Bible it's of importance like if something is repeated in the Bible it means you better listen to it because it is is the truth it will make you whole it is something that you need to remember and we just see here that uh, the psalmist was in a situation where his soul lost hope you know have you ever been in a situation where you have just lost hope you're so on the ground you don't know where to go left or right whether you can see light in the darkness some of us have just been defeated in this situation 2020 but I just want to encourage you, don't lose hope. Have hope that God sees you, that God hears you, and that God is coming to bring salvation and rescue you. That God will just restore everything that has failed. God will restore everything that has been taken away from you. God will restore your finances. He will restore your health. He will restore your family bonds. God will restore this church. God will restore his church. So I just pray that all of us will never lose hope. In this situation, we all need hope more than ever before. Amen. Amen. And so I 
just want you to take from this message that hope is needed when you're feeling hopeless and when you're feeling defeated hope is something that that first happens within your soul before you can even see it so i just want you to know that that you should hope in god first and in nothing else hope in god the bible repeated in psalm 42 and 43 hope in god don't hope in your finances don't hope in the church don't hope in any, everything anything but have your faith and your hope in god because when you have your hope in god he will give you hope to have hope for things he will give you hope that you will hope that things will get better that you will have hope that he will bring salvation and that he will bring you a new song and a new testimony he will give you a new song on your lips and you will praise him again amen amen, amen. 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 so never lose hope don't lose it now take your hope back um, let the spirit of hopelessness um, be lifted mm. and may we all get hope again this is the word that god has shared with us amen, amen. amen.